सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वन सेकेंड दिस इज प्रसाद एंड यू आर वाचिंग द चैनल डिस्कवर मोर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस पार्ट सिक्स सो फ्रेंड्स क्विकली लेट्स गो सो फ्रेंड्स हियर इज योर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सो दिस विल बी आवर प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस पार्ट सिक्स फ्रेंड्स इफ यू डिड नॉट सी द कॉन्सेप्ट पार्ट द पार्ट वन टू पार्ट फाइव then all the links are provided right here there will be an i button okay you have to the symbol is like this you have to click on that then you can accessible to all the chapters that is profit and loss part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 and part 5 so friends let me read out the question first a merchant bought 150 boxes of biscuits for rupees 21750 and paid 150 edge transport charges at what price box should he sell them so as to gain 12% on his total outlay so friends read it twice the question i think this is quite an easy one but let me solve first okay so first pause this video solve it by yourself because this is the access exercise part we are going here to do so first do it by yourself then uh match your answer with me okay a merchant bought 150 boxes bought means cost price for 150 boxes okay uh the cost price will be 21750 and he paid 150 extra rupees okay 150 as transport charges friends as i already said in my previous videos the transport charges okay the extra amount that is added to the cost price is known as the overhead charges overhead charges or you can also write the transport charges that is equal to rupees 150 so what will be my new cp new cost price will be the cost price plus the overhead charges cost price is 21750 plus the overhead charges that is 150 so my answer will be 21700 so 21900 rupee is my cost price so as you know cost price is always taken as 100% so we can also write that 100% is equal to 21900 so friends don't take this is 100% because we have to add the overhead charges because overhead charges mean that is the extra amount okay you have to spend on the uh, items okay okay at what price should he sell them so as to gain 12% so if my cost price is 100% and gain is 12% and gain is 12% then what will be my sp that is the selling price cost price plus gain so cost price is 100% gain is 12% so what will be my sp sp will be 112% so we have to find out what is the value of 112% so 100% is given as <clears throat> 21900 then we have to find what is 112 percentage so when you reach this step just do cross multiplication okay so first 21900 is multiplied with 112 and divided by 100 now 2020 get cancel so we have 219 into 112 okay so we have to do just the multiplication So friends, just doing this multiplication, we got twenty four thousand five hundred twenty eight. So this will be my answer. So uh, what will be my selling price? Selling price is twenty four thousand five hundred twenty eight. I think all this is quite easy, but just doing this uh, multiplication takes some time. But that you have to do it for getting the answer. So quickly, friends, go to the next one. So friends, here is your question number eight. So first. Let me read out the question. A man makes a profit of fifteen percent by selling an article for two hundred and fifty rupees. At what rate should he sell it to make a profit of thirty eight percent? So, friends, if you are going to do this by formula, I think this would take more than one minute. Why? because here profit is given 15% then we have to find out what is the cost price 
then depending on that cost price we have to find out what is the profit then to add cost price with the profit to get the selling price so i think this should be a lengthy one so we don't go through this process we'll do it by some tricks okay so a man makes a profit of 15 percent so friends uh, always remember that cost price is always taken as 100 percent and why we take cost price is 100 percent because all the calculation done here is totally based upon the cost price okay so take cost price equal to 100 percent and he makes a profit of 15 percent so uh, profit will be 15 percentage so if profit is 15 percentage then selling price will be what selling price is cost price plus profit so 100 percent is cost plus profit is 15 percentage so selling price will be 115 percent but friends look at this okay selling price is given as one uh, sorry 250 rupees so we can put here that is 115 percent is equal to 250 okay we can put it put like here that is 150 percent is equal to 250 but the question asked that at what rate should he sell it to make a profit of 30 percent so if my cost price is 100 percent and uh, profit okay profit is given as 30 percent so definitely my selling price will be what it will be similar the cost price plus the profit if cost price is 100 percent plus 30 percent so selling price will be 138 percent so now we have to find out 138 percent so if 150 percent that is 250 we have to find what is 138 percent just by doing the cross multiplication we got the answer okay so 250 multiplied with 138 divided by 115 so just cancel it out so i think 5 right okay so 5 5 is a 25 0 and 5 2 is a 10 15 5 3 is a okay and let's say so it will be 50 into 138 divided by 23 so by just solving this we get required answer but friends i think it would cancel 23 1 23 6 so friends how we know that that is 23 6 138 because let's say 23 okay this is 138 so let's say it is 20 plus 3 if it is multiplied with 6 so 20 into 6 that is 120 and 3 into 6 that is 100 and, uh, sorry 18 so adding 138 so 23 6 130 so we get 50 into 6 that is 300 and rupees so uh, if i sell the okay article for 300 rupees i got a profit of 38 percent so just by doing this two step 150 percent that is equal to 250 what is the value of 138 percent is so if okay if you know the formulas i know you know the formulas do it by yourself and just compare these two uh, tricks okay uh, your traditional method formula and this is the shortcut trick okay let's see wh which one is comfortable to you and that according to you can do that but i think yeah this is uh, very shorter and easily understandable so i suggest you to do this method not going through this traditional method okay friends so yeah quickly go to the next one so friends here is the new topic that is discount okay so disc before <coughs> continuing discount let me tell you that the pdf file i have of all your for last co last two, two to three questions that that is not quite visible so in the next part i will make uh, the rest part of the profit and loss so now quickly go to the new chapter that is the discount so before going to the discount uh, you have to know what is the marked price okay you have to know what is marked price and you have to know you know uh, what is discount 
and last one is the selling price okay marked price means that the printed price okay okay mark price is also known as the printed price printed price and also known as retail price also for example you go to a mall there is a t-shirt okay okay this t-shirt and uh, this this t-shirt cost you this t-shirt cost you for example it shows uh, that it written here it is uh, thousand rupees okay thousand rupees so that price is written here on the t-shirt is thousand rupees so it will be is marked price but what happened this is not the actual price of the t-shirt so the seller okay to attract the customer and to increase the sales manufacturers and dealers offer some reduction in the uh, marked price okay so he sell it okay he sell this t-shirt if it is written uh, thousand rupees okay he sell it for 800 rupees that means the mark price is thousand rupees he dropped its price to 800 rupees so what happened the drop in price that is thousand rupee on the printed price thousand rupees and the selling price is 800 rupees so the drop in price is 200 rupees so the drop in price is known as discount okay so i think it's easy you got you got my point so mark price means anything that is printed on the particular item and selling price as you know that is the selling price that at the price at which at which you sell something okay and to attract customer he uh, what happened the dealer okay uh, they actually less money okay so drop in price that is 200 rupees okay that is a discount and also just remember two to three formulas the discount is equal to marked price okay marked price minus the selling price discount equal to marked price minus selling price okay so here is the example if the marked price is thousand rupees and selling price is 800 rupees so what is the discount discount will be thousand minus 800 that is 200 rupee is the discount so similarly what is percentage discount percentage discount is also written as that is the discount that is the discount divided by marked price multiplied with 100 as you know in case of percentage profit and percentage loss in the denominator position cost price is present but in discount remember marked price is present in the denominator position so discount equal to marked price minus selling price and percentage discount is equal to discount divided by mark price into 100 and remember one last thing in case of percentage profit and loss we always take in that cost price is 100 percent but in case of discount we take marked price as 100 percent remember that in case of profit and loss we take cost price is equal to 100 percent but in case of discount we take marked prices 100 percent and based upon the mark price we decide or we calculate other factor okay let's quickly do one example okay if the marked price is for example 1200 okay and one person uh, sell it okay the obviously the shopkeeper sell it for 800 rupees then find out the discount as well as the percentage discount so friends as you know discount discount is equal to marked price minus the selling price mark price is here 1200 minus selling price is 800 so 1200 minus 800 that is 400 so we got the discount then percentage discount is equal to discount okay that is 400 divided by the mark price in discount question we taken 
mark price in the denominator position so 1200 multiplied with 100 20 okay 20 got cancelled i think 4 yeah 4 and 4 threes are so it will be 100 by 3 percentage we can see 33.33 percentage this is your answer so let me quickly revise that what is mark price the price that is printed on the particular item for example you go to a mall on a t-shirt you see a tag tag mark the price tag and it shows it cost thousand rupees okay that is the mark to price but to attract the seller okay sorry to attract the customer the shopkeeper and got some price drop because it shows thousand rupees but he sell less than thousand rupees okay let's say 800 rupees so 800 rupees he sell it that means it is the selling price and the price difference between the price tag or the marked price and the selling price is called the discount okay so yeah discount is equal to remember mark price minus selling price and percentage discount is discount divided by mark price into 100 so i think it's easy if you so first remember all this concept it's gonna help you for sure and don't remember all the formulas just remember these two with these two formula we don't need other formulas that there are various formulas are there just read two formula we're gonna do by some tricks okay so friends here is your question number one okay an off season discount of 20 percent is offered on an electric heater marked of 840 okay what will be the selling price of the heater so friends if you uh, go through the traditional method okay how this is long and by just by thinking logically how this is short let me just divide this two part on that this side i'm gonna do the traditional method on this end gonna do the shortcut tricks okay an off season discount of 20 percent so discount is given as 20 percent okay and on an electric maker marked means marked means what it is the mrp the maximum retail price or we can say this is the marked price is 840 and what will be the selling price we have to find out the selling price okay if mark price is 840 and discount is 20 percent okay so what will be my discount discount is always counted or the calculated upon the marked price if discount is 20 percent and marked price is 840 my discount will be 20 percent is of 840 okay 20 percent is of 840 so 20 percent means what 20 divided by 100 off means multiplication and 840 one zero one zero got cancel one zero one zero got cancel so we got 2 into 84 so my answer will be 160 is the discount and we have to find out the selling price so friends remember all this calculation done here based upon the mark price so mark price is given he has some discount the price drop and we got the selling price so selling price will be what mark price minus the discount so selling price will be marked price minus the discount marked price is given as what how much 840 okay 840 minus discount is 168 so 10 minus a 2 3 minus uh, okay 13 minus 6 that is 7 and 7 minus 1 that is 672 this is the traditional method so let's quickly go through the shortcut trick how easily you can solve within two lines yes you heard it right within two lines you're gonna solve this so remember friends in case of profit and loss we take always cost price is 100 percent but in case of discount mark price this type of question we have to take marked price is equal to 100 percent because all the calculation done here based upon or calculated upon the mark price so in, remember condition one is in case of profit and loss 
कॉस्ट प्राइस इज ऑलवेज हंड्रेड परसेंट बट इन केस ऑफ डिस्काउंट मार्क्ड प्राइस इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके सो मार्क्ड प्राइस इज हंड्रेड परसेंट एंड डिस्काउंट ओके डिस्काउंट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो एज यू नो सेलिंग प्राइस विल बी वट सेलिंग प्राइस विल बी मार्क्ड प्राइस माइनस डिस्काउंट so marked price is okay let me write it here for your better understanding okay discount so marked price is given here 100% minus discount is 20% so 100% minus 20% that is 80% okay so this is the selling price but okay marked price is 100% okay so 100% is equal to 840 why we take it this we're taking this because marked price is given here 840 and we have taken 100 percent so 100 percent is equal to 180 we have to find out the selling price selling price how much 80 percent find out the value of 80 percent and get your answer just by two lines okay so 840 multiplied with 80 divided by 100 so 20 20 got cancelled so 84 into 8, 84 into 8, that is 8 fours are 32, 8 is a 64, 672. This is your traditional method, this is a shortcut trick. Just by writing and calculating, no subtraction, no find, find out the percentage, just to learn 100% equal this much, we have to find what is 80%. I think these two methods are understandable these two are easy but why should you remember such formulas okay first we have to find out disc discount what is the discount then we have to uh, subtract it why should we do that just by two lines 100 percent equal this much 80 percent how much 672 we get to answer okay so next question so friends here is your last question okay uh, last question of this part okay so let me read out first a sari is sold for 1488 after giving a discount of 20 percent what is the mark price of this sari so friends if you do this type of math by using the traditional formulas you're gonna solve it's very time taking friends seriously so you have to the sp is given 1488 then 20% is given then we have to put the formula that is mark price of sari is equal to selling price into 100 divided by 100 minus discount percentage why should we remember that formula that mark price is equal to selling price into 100 divided by 100 minus discount price why should we stress our mind study is not about stress yourself study is about enjoy yourself so what's a, a sari is sold for, for uh, 1488 so sold means what it is the selling price without any formula we're gonna do this okay so selling price is given 1488 and discount is also given as 20 percent okay so we have to find out what is the marked price that's quite simple don't go through this formula types formula. this is all only for your stress your mind only for that you used feel that study is quite not burden okay just enjoy yourself and just do it within two to three seconds how as you also know that marked price mark price is always taken as hundred percent okay just memorize that mark in case of discount marked price is 100 percent okay discount is 20 percent if discount is 20 percent given then what will be my selling price selling price equal to marked price minus discount okay if mark price is 100 percent and discount is 20 percent then selling price will be what 80 percent but this selling price is 80% but it is given that selling price is 1488 so what 80% is equal to this much 80% is equal to 1488 we have to find out the mark price as you know mark price is 100% so what is the 100% value 
just find it out you got the answer i think this is quite easy method easy to understand easy to calculate also okay so don't go through the traditional method this is totally useless nowadays so 1 for 88 multiplied with 100 divided by 8 0 okay so 1 0 1 0 would cancel 2 4 z 2 5 z 10 okay so i think 4 let me cancel 4 1 the 4 4 3 z 12 28 4 7 z 28 4 2 z so we got 372 into 5 so how can you do that just by just divide this number by 2 okay 2 1 ja 17 2 8 ja 16 uh, 12 6 and put 1 0 if you know this trick okay i already discussed in my previous part video you also go to that part and see how you do multiplication with 5 quite easily so my answer is 1860 yeah that is quite easy i strongly recommend you to go through this okay don't go through this formula they are totally useless friends just remember that yeah this is the best method so friend this is the end of this part i didn't thought of making discount topic today but yeah fortunately it's on now okay so the last thing is that if you like this then please let me know that you like this or you didn't like it please comment down below if you don't comment i don't know whether it is like liking subject or not and last thing is that if you want regular updates you have to subscribe my channel and you if you want to get the direct link on your phone then you just one thing this is my whatsapp number okay you have to type subscribe subscribe and send it to this whatsapp number and then you will get all the update all the updates and okay so do it and like comment subscribe my channel and do share with your friends thank you so much for watching